Floyd, what do you what do you feel like you learned in there? Um, you know, and going up twelve rounds against a veteran like that from Mexico. Um, today I learned that you know you're not gonna get the knockout every time. You know, I wasn't really disappointed. I got the knockout. Um, you know, I went to 12 rounds for the first time, and it felt really good. You know, on the, on the inside, you throw some, some combinations that we don't see a lot these mm -hmm. days, you know, seven, eight, nine punches. Yeah. Um, but is uh, the defense in that range, in the pocket, does that got to uh, get short up too when you go back? In a, a little bit, you know, I just tried to, you know, bang it out with him. You know, he had the shorter reach. You know, that wasn't really the smartest thing. You know, my dad in the corner would tell me, just go back to the jab. But, you know, after I, I got rocked with that shot to the back of the head, you know, I just wanted to bang it out and show I was, I was fine. Were you ever hurting there? Nah, I, would, I wouldn't necessarily hurt, but the rabbit, excuse me, the rabbit punch really, you know, it, it's hard to describe. It's really hard to describe, but you feel it. Like, everything is bright and whatnot, but I wouldn't say I was hurt. I got up, banged it out. I know a lot of guys want that flashy knockout, but do you think a fight like this benefits you more in the long term, given the learning experience you got today? Yes, a fight like this, definitely, because not only was it my first 12-round fight, it was my first 12-round fighter against a guy with power and a guy that, you know, I couldn't get out of there. So I feel like I, I, I would rather have this type of fight because, you know, it's a learning lesson um, rather than a knockout. And, you know, who knows, I go into the next fight. I didn't learn anything, you know. For sure, in a familiar face, you clear he was live tweeting throughout your fight. So, how soon do you want to fight like that? Uh, oh, soon. Yeah, Next. very soon. Next, um, I hope I hope now that he showed he vulnerable, it will give him courage to step in the ring. Yeah. So but I hope that's what happens. My opinion, Shakur don't got no power like Renee, so I'm ready. And it's actually funny. I looked up at the thing and I seen the tweet. I was, I was about to start laughing, but I was like, you know what? I gotta stay focused. And at what point did you were you okay with this going 12 rounds and getting that quality work in, in there, or were you continuing to go for the knockout in those championship rounds? Uh, I say after he, you know, caught me, you know, with the knockdown, I was like, you know what? I want this fight to go the whole 12 rounds because you know I wanted to give the fans, you know, what they wanted to see, and you know, showed out. I, I was fine. So um, I think after the knockdown, I was like, you know what? Let's bang it out the whole fight. So. Coach Shakur actually said you uh, you did a damn good job coaching tonight with some training. So what do you have to say to that? I like Shakur. Shakur is one of the greatest boxers of his ever. I always said that. He's one of my favorite fighters. Uh, and, and I would like to see. The thing with Floyd, and y'all will understand is he adapts to the person who want to fight like the person. So I need somebody like Shakur, a tank, so he can dig in his bag and have to pull that out, that level. And I want to see how that goes so I can see if I got to work on it. All respect. But Shakur to his is point. one of the greatest, and that's why we want to fight is, him and take him. With, with Shakur, is it a case of you guys just feel like his athleticism and explosiveness kind of overcomes Shakur's seasoning, his experience? I, I think most people would still think he's more skilled, but he, he's coming up from 26. So is it that, you know, uh, Floyd's athleticism and explosiveness could overcome that gap in maybe skill and experience? Or how do you see it? I see it because I see me in sparring matches. So I see how he do with Shakur. It's very competitive because Shakur is like a counter puncher and he's boring because he's a great boxer, defensive boxer. So he need a swarm of somebody like Kid that's gonna put the pressure on him to make the fight exciting. If Shakur keep getting boring fights, his brain gonna keep going down. He needs some some Kid, Pitbull, um, Tank. He need those aggressive fights. Did you guys see the, the DM he leaked where I guess it was after the sparring and uh, you know, kid, kid was saying you're one of the best fighters I've Look, seen. At that time, yeah. I was 17 years old. And I had plenty of interviews saying that, you know, I thought Shakur was, he was my favorite fighter. You know, every tournament I went to as a kid, he would always take a picture of me. Mm -hmm. So after the sparring, it was none, you know, weird saying, like, I, I think you're one of the GOATs. But that has nothing to do with wanting to fight now. I want your spot. So. Yeah, we want that belt. That's Great like if, if, if well. you know, when he was in camp with Tank, now he wants to fight Tank. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Would you grade? Would you grade yourself today at, from A to D? The old school report cards. I know. C. I know. I'm gonna hear it. See, that I was get, not the game plan. That I know. I'm gonna hear it. You know, but me personally, I give myself a B minus because you know Renee was a tough fighter. You know, you guys didn't fight Renee. You know, it, it's very <laughs> you know challenging to stand there with someone. You hit him with a five piece combination and like it hurts your hands and it doesn't hurt him. It's like man, what? So um, I give myself a B minus, you know, my first 12 round fight. I'm happy, I'm happy. You won. Senior, yeah. what advice were you giving him at one stage? It looked like you were worried you're gonna lose your voice there. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted him to um, use his jab and move the guy, keep him moving and fighting. The guy wanted to come in and wanted the aggressive stuff. And I was telling him, don't give the guy what you want. Box, keep him moving. He'll run into the shot that will knock him out. As long as he's braced up walking like this, nothing's gonna knock him out because he's braced waiting for the punch. So I tried to get him to move, but 
young fighters when they get hit, they just wanna ah, and it's like calm down. Yeah, after so I, I got dropped, I was like, ah, I want it back. Emotions running. Yes, but um, we we already making a little bit of changes. I might as well make the announcement. Juan Guzman gonna be in camp with us um, as one of the coaches, as one of the main coaches to get him on that level. So we are bringing the world champion oh, coach. I wanna say this, y'all think you're playing? Renee busted my cup. Yeah. Oh, he, he busted my cup. He has some serious power. He got power. Yeah. I really like my performance and you know I want to say to all the haters out there you know I showed you I could box. Now I just got kicked with a good shot on my ear. But besides that, you know, I feel like I put on a boxing clinic when I did. Um, but on to the next. I'm happy with my performance. You know, my first 12-round fight is only going to get better for me. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.